Hi, my name is Ray. I'm a travel junkie. You can watch my travels on YouTube with your computer or your cell phone. But best is to sit in the swivel chair, put on your headset and join me on adventures in the most beautiful places on our planet without breaking the bank. Welcome back and now on our way to Halong Bay we're gonna stop at the Pearl Museum, fantastic place. Hop on a boat, cruise around some of the islands. One of them actually has a sand beach. Then we're gonna go on bamboo boats into some exotic coves. And then we're gonna hike through one of the biggest caves in the world. Sunset, party. All right, I'm glad you're coming with me and let's go. So the next day I decided to go to World Heritage Site, Halong Bay. Everybody saw it probably in movies, in pictures. It's one of a kind site. So when you drive there, make sure you stop at the Pearl Museum on your way to Halong Bay. I took the bus, which was comfortable. We had a guide who explained a lot of things and thanks God we made a stop to use the happy room. We all know what by now what the happy room in Vietnam is. The happy room is the bathroom and everybody always is happy when we can stop at the bathroom after two hours in the bus. So there was the Pearl Museum and pearls in every shape pearl chains, pearl rings, pearl everything and it's so beautiful and you can buy it. It's not even that expensive. You think pearls are very precious. There's so many pearls that can keep the price low and I highly recommend to bring a pearl chain or pearl earrings or pearl rings back to your girlfriend. Or maybe also to your wife, so they're both happy. <laughs> then you finally arrive at the harbor, and we uh, I was set up with a crew of like 20 people from around the world also, and we had this beautiful boat. First thing, of course, we got some lunch and some drinks, and I was sitting, I was very fortunate to be on the table with five girls from Germany and from Holland and from Scandinavia and we made friends within five minutes we ate the food was delicious but outside the site was incredible It's 3,001 islands. I don't know who counted them, but, and I hope he's right. I don't want to tell you any stories here. 3,001 islands. Most of them even have names. So we cruised through these islands and there was an island that had a little tower on top of it they put staircase to get up there and you had a beautiful view and you also could stay down there because that island was one of the few islands that had a sand beach so it was time to take a swim in Halong Bay the water was actually pretty cold but refreshing because the temperature was like around 80 85 degrees so it was nice to jump in the water 
Of course, there are a lot of other boats and ships. And what I would recommend to hire a boat where you can stay overnight, one or two nights, and see more of the 3001 Island, maybe 51 islands or 100. And you get fed and you have a nice cabin with bed and you stay there for a night or two and really get an impression of this world-class site. So on to the next adventure in Halong Bay is who wants to go on the bamboo boat or you can also take a kayak and we go through this tunnel into like a lagoon and everybody is on their own and to discover what's going on there. So I wanted to do the kayak, but then I wouldn't have a hand free to film it. So you would have to just look at some photos, but now you can come with me and experience that like I did. Wherever you look, it's a spectacle of cliffs and trees, the water, and a lot of caves around. So we go through that cave, and it feels like it's never gonna end. I feel you go, the cave's gonna come out in New Orleans or New York. That's how far it keeps on going and going. I think I overheard one of the tour leaders that it's the second biggest cave in the world. By the way, the, f the biggest one is a little bit more inland and also in Vietnam. And apparently it takes 10 days to go through that one. I needed a longer visa to do this, so I st stuck with the second biggest cave and it was pretty spectacular. This cave adventure was also included in the boat trip. So that day was a 14-hour day. You look around, you see stalagmites, and you see caves, and you see waterfalls out of stone. And what they told me that before it became an empty cave, it was all underwater. It was an underwater cave. Now, thanks God, it's over water. I couldn't dive that long. We went through this whole cave. It took about an hour, but I have to say every step and every turn, it was a different sight. Even the colors changed. Some of the rocks were blue, some were red, some were orange. Some of those rocks had some really weird formations. One rock really looked like a penis and everybody took photos there. So when you come out of the cave, there are a couple of souvenir stands. You might want to buy something there. It's cheap and there's some beautiful stuff. 
when you look down at all the ships anchored there and bringing in the people to go through the cave. It's a beautiful bay. Don't miss it. Don't miss the caves. It's a one in a lifetime experience. Back on the boat, the sun was going down. It's gotten so romantic. Even now looking at this for you and showing it to you, I get tears in my eyes. It's one romantic moment where the whole crew of the boat was partying. We had hors d'oeuvres, deserved drinks, and we all watched the sun going down behind 3001 islands. Slowly we made our way back into the harbor. Everybody got really silent. It was one hell of a day. is very calm, it's super smooth, no worries about getting seasick or anything. One other thing you're definitely not going to be, you're not going to be homesick because you want to stay there forever. And that was about it for Vietnam. I'm, I hope you enjoyed the trip with me, seeing all these incredible sights, Vietnam has so much to offer. My next trip, I tell you the secret, it'll be the Baltic Sea. Check out where that is. I'm not gonna tell you right now, but you can join me. Thanks for watching. I see you on my next affordable luxury trip in the Baltics.